Welcome back. So we're going to move it up to collarbone breathing, upper chest breathing, clavicular breathing, clavicles are your collarbones. Okay. Now this one does take a bit of time because there is very little movement here. So we're going to place our hands here. There isn't an awful lot of movement here. And the idea is that you're really going to fill the lungs up, you know, the upper lobes, which are just situated here. And sometimes it's also called chest armpit breathing because when you progress in yoga, you're going to be asked to really breathe into the armpits as well. Very um, tricky to feel. But we're just going to visualize it because we're going to be very at the very beginner st state. We're only going to learn how to fill our lungs from the bottom up. That's going to be the image that I want to portray with you, that we're going to fill the lungs from the bottom up um, as we move on. But for this next couple of days, I just want you to try and just place your hands, fingertips just underneath the collarbones here. And when you're breathing in, just wait for those, see if you can see any movement. If you can't, don't worry about it, it's no big deal. Um, we're just gonna try and visualize it. And we're gonna stick with our breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. We're gonna stick with our in for three, out for six. And yeah, so let's get started. I mean, um, you know already that you're sitting in an upright position. Just check in with your body. And that is simply so that there's no slouching going on because you're going to feel it, find it so much more difficult if you're slouching. You want to fill your lungs from a position of actually not being physically restricting them and having them nice and easy to be filled up. So, going to sit nice and straight. Going to check in with all the things that we know. So we're sitting on our sits bones. We've got the belly button slightly drawn in and up. So our core is um, engaged. I'm going to say it again. Yes, feet are directly under the knees. You can put a little bit of weight into the feet as well here. And then you can start just by focusing on your natural breath. Because we're going to turn to the breath here in a wee second. And now that you've focused in on your natural breath, feel free to close your eyes. We're going to go. And when we breathe in this time, we're going to try and see if we can feel any movement here. So I'm going to go first. OK, now let me see. Okay, and now we're going to go for a count. So we're going to go one, two, three. Wait for the turn of the breath. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait for the return of the breath, breathing in. Breathing out. And another cycle, breathing in. One, two, three. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to leave you with that. We're going to do only this. Now for a couple of days, try for 10 deep breaths, at least once a day and then move on and meet me in the next video. See you there.